Today I'm taking you along for an easy 12k run. We're gonna go through the north end and eventually downtown Halifax. It is such a beautiful day today and I am running in the morning and that's my favorite time to run. I thought I'd just show you some of the sights and just chat along the run. I love CLE hats. They're my favorite and I own many. Today I'm running in the Hoka Clifton 8s. This colorway is called Shark Skin and Diva Pink. I love the pink and it's an interesting name. I don't know who thinks of names for shoe colorways, but I dig it. This is me dying up North Street. It's a very steep hill or very long hill after the bridge. And I can't believe Liam had to run up this in his marathon. Brutal. And yes, keep hydrated. It's summer and it's so important to have water or I always have water on my run, especially with breastfeeding. I just need to keep on top of my hydration. Pretty here, isn't it? Nova Scotia has really beautiful sights and it also has a Navy base. You can see here, this is the entrance and we can see a lot of ships in the dock, which is really cool. And yeah, there's a lot of military here. We are now entering the Hydrostone area, which is the fancy part of the North End. North End kind of has some pockets like anywhere, some kind of rougher areas and then some more expensive areas. This area is nicer and I would love to live here. I love this water bottle. It's from Decathlon, $18 I believe. And it's just has a little loop you can hook your thumb in and it's been great for the summer. I find the cloth ones get really yucky from sweat and all that lovely stuff. Now, this is one of, there's many, but this is one of the weirdest intersections in Halifax. There's like many lights, and if you're driving, it's really confusing to know what light is for you and what lane to go in. It's kind of terrifying, thankfully. It's easy for pedestrians, but yeah, so many weird intersections. Oh, hello, Mr. Garbage Truck. Thank you for not stopping. Yeah, it's pretty quiet out this morning. There's not a lot of people out. I think it's a Monday. I did this on a Monday, so yeah, not many people out and about. Cross over here because that sidewalk is closed. My legs are a bit tired on this run. I believe I'm still recovering from the long run I did. And oh, yep, I hit three kilometers now. And yeah, nothing too crazy pace. Oh, this house always has so many cool plants. Lots of plants. As I was saying though, my legs are a little tired, so. I'm just going easy and that's the purpose of easy runs just to get the legs moving and that's it. Of course I'm wearing my Gooder sunglasses which I love and again own many pairs. Ooh, freshly cut grass. Lovely. This is the community college, Nova Scotia Community College I mean and there's a few campuses and it's a great, great school. More grass. <laughs> These shoes are actually really nice to run in. I find them super lightweight and not like super soft, but like a good soft, a good amount of cushioning. You can do long runs in these, um, though I don't usually do my long runs in them, but I really enjoy doing easy runs in these and they're one of many or one of the few that I really enjoy running in. So yeah, I'm really glad I have the Hoka's to do my easy runs in. Ah, this is my favorite street to run on. Is that weird to have a favorite street? Do you guys have a favorite street? Anyway, this street is always clear, especially in the winter and not many traffic and it's nicely paved and it's just super lovely to run on. Ah, a roundabout. I saw so many of these in Vancouver. Couldn't get over how many roundabouts there were and just the streets. Makes sense, but it was just, yeah, there was a lot. Yeah, I would love to live in one of these houses. Pretty nice. Safe. 
safety first. Gotta watch crosswalks. Cars don't always stop. And now we're going through this weird intersection and going down. One of the favorite parts of this route is this big, long downhill. It's great to go down. I don't know. I think it's like two kilometers maybe or just under. And it's great. It's not going or not fun going up it, but I do enjoy going down. Just keeps going on. Can't complain. And it's not too steep either, which sometimes hills in Halifax can be. The grass is so green. I can't get over how lush everything is. It's been, well, we had all those forest fires and it was very dry, but now we've had rain and everything looks just so healthy and nice. Oh my goodness, this intersection never is green for pedestrians, so this is a miracle. Now we're going on this trail, which is so nice. I wish it was longer, but it starts here and goes all the way. I can run it all the way to Point Pleasant Park, which I will take you on in another video. But yeah, it's nice, a little uphill, but yeah, I really like this trail or path. I just, again, wish it was longer. There's one of the bridges and again, more Navy base, military base. Here and we're kind of going under, kind of went under the bridge and keeping going on this path. In the summer, a few people tent in it, as you can see, but again, there's really not a lot of people on this path usually, some cyclists, but yeah, it's pretty quiet. This is going to be a roundabout apparently. It's just so much construction happening. Oh, hello cyclists, thank you. But again, this path is really lovely and yeah, despite the construction, it's very nice to run on. Now we're heading to downtown Halifax. Yep, more construction. And now we're going by, oh yes, these big trucks. Gotta love them. Now we're going to the casino and ugh, scooters. Hate them. Hello, casino. And then we're gonna go around and go to the waterfront or the boardwalk, I mean. Kind of a random around the casino, but it's nice to run on. So pretty today. I love these chairs. I really want to come down here sometime and just sit in them, but often just running by them. Lots of restaurants and cute shops, and it's just a, yeah, it's a really nice downtown. This often has like lights in the winter, and it's a really cute kind of alleyway. Sometimes it's awkward to run by here if there's people eating, and you're just kind of like, hey, I'm running by you as you eat. And that's a Google boat. I don't remember what Liam told me that it's doing there, but something about turbines, something. Anyways, it's been there like all summer. And now, ooh, cow's ice cream, yum. And now we're gonna keep going downtown and this kind of useless staircase that you can see in just a second, yep, goes up to this building or structure. And then the staircase that goes into the water, cool. <laughs> I would not go swimming in Halifax Harbor. Do not recommend. And boats. Ah, the infamous wave that you're not supposed to climb on, but yet you see lots of children on. I love coming down here. We used to come down here for walks at night, but unfortunately Luke goes to bed around 7 p.m. and that means we can't go for walks. I thought this is so cool. There's like things you can do with your kids, like jumping and like activities and run. So I can't wait till Luke is older and bring him down here and do them. It looks so fun. I believe that is George's Island. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's a little island there you can see. Really pretty. And we're getting near the end of the boardwalk and we're gonna get to kind of Pier 21 area. But yeah, these 
can be slippery if it's rainy, so I don't often run here if it's been raining or has rained or it is raining. And more construction, woo. Yeah, but it's so beautiful. And we reached the end and there's Garrison Brewery and there's some coffee shop there. And we'll go by Pier 21, which is really cool. There's a lot of history, a lot of museums in this area. It's kind of like on the outskirts of like the downtown, but yes. Oh, water break. This is usually so full of cars because this is actually a farm market here. And on Saturdays, and I believe Sundays, there's just lots of people around. And of course, when we're trying to do our long run, they're around. Ah, more big trucks. They go downtown and there's so many of them and you have to watch out for them because it's, yeah, they're big. The Discovery Center is cool. I haven't taken Luke yet. I think he needs to be a little bigger or older before he really appreciate it or understand, so. Yes, more construction. I'm getting a little tired. I can see I'm a little sweaty now. I think it must have been getting warmer or heating up. Oh, thank you for shopping car. I'm going by one of our favorite restaurants and ugh, more scooters. They just leave them in the middle of the sidewalk. That was pretty good, but they just are so annoying. These cobblestones are, I guess, brick is fun to run on, but again, can get really slippery. The Maritime Museum is really cool. It has Titanic artifacts, and there's actually people, like the graveyard here for Titanic people who passed away, and yeah, there's a lot of history. Now, we, I'm running in the bike lane, don't hate me, but there's really no cyclists in Halifax, or not very many, so I never, like if I see a cyclist, obviously I move out of the way, but sometimes it's just easier to run in the bike lane. And they just did this all new here, and so it's really nice to run on. And sometimes you just don't have room on the sidewalk. So I appreciate the new bike lanes here, and then go on to the sidewalk. Ah, more construction. There literally like used to be a road here. It's like gone. So they've been doing a lot, a lot of work, and yeah, more construction. Here, we're almost back to the casino, and then gonna go up the path that we went on already, but yeah, it's a really nice route, and it's pretty much exactly 12k, and I appreciate just having a route that I can just go out and know I just have to do this and don't have to add on too much at the end and can just go home, so it's it's been nice. Now, nope, checking my watch, almost done, want to be done, that sun is hot. Good thing I have my water bottle. Do not want to go up this hill but this hill is so steep and it's kind of the worst <laughs> yeah dying but welcome to Halifax where there are hills everywhere you can't escape them no matter where you go really it's kind of it's good Boston training that's what I keep telling myself and then we're pretty much done so I hope you enjoyed my 12k easy run and seeing the north end and downtown and I will take you on more runs around the city and I had fun, so thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.